Hello and welcome back to the World's RV Show going on at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling dealership in the world with one location. My name is Donnie O'Banion and I'm being joined uh, today with, by Joel Grimm, the National Sales Manager for the Class A Gas Division of Thor Motor Coach. And uh, Joel's going to be taking us around one of the most popular and certainly one of the most unique Class A motorhomes ever built. Thanks again for joining us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Appreciate you being here, Joel. This here is the Ace Motor Home, America's number one selling gas motor home. Thor Motor Coach came out with the Ace product a couple years ago after listening to our customers, their needs and wants, what they're looking for in their next RV, which is where the Ace came into play. Uh, the Ace, what it stands for, Class A, Class C Evolution. So the customer who is not really sure whether they want a Class A motor home or a Class C motor home, this gives them the best of both worlds. Class A features is one, the Ford 16,000 gross vehicle weight rated chassis. So a Class A chassis, you're gonna get Class A storage. Um, also, you're gonna get Class A drivability. Class C features that you're gonna find unique on the Ace product. One is you're gonna find a Class C windshield. Okay, you're gonna find Class C sleeping on the inside. And then when we get around to the back, you're gonna see a Class C rear cap with a Class C bumper. Uh, and also give right. you a Class C utility. So really you get the best of both worlds with, with, with the Ace Motorhome. It's been incredibly popular here at Motorhome Specialist, as you know, I mean, all three floor plans. Uh, the 27.1 is what we're looking at uh, today, and that's the newest floor plan, correct? Yes, that is correct. What makes this floor plan so unique, it's a 27.1 from front to very back, actual overall length is only 28 feet, seven inches. So it's under 30 foot, it's easy to maneuver, it's very, very easy to drive as well. And has a king size bed. And, and it has not... a king size bed in the 27 foot motorhome. Yeah, you're not gonna find that in any Class C. No, which has <laughs> really, really made this a popular selling motorhome. Uh, this particular one that we've got is in your new HD Max colored sidewalls. Yes. Uh, it's still available in two exterior paint colors um, uh, for 13 and 14, correct? You're gonna carry that over? Yes, that is correct. The HD Max, which, which is our colored fiberglass, uh, is standard now in all these products. So opposed to the old white motor home, uh, what the HD Max offers you is, a, uh, is the appearance of full body paint without the cost of full body paint. The way this works is actually a poured fiberglass um, that is just a dyed color that's dyed all the way throughout. So if you happen to get a scratch or something on it, the color is consistent throughout the fiberglass. Um, but when you step back and take a look at the whole at the whole motorhome, it really gives the appearance of true full body paint. And the sheen as well. It's not just the color, but the the appearance to me from the full body paint standpoint is the high gloss finish of what you never got with a white motor home that you get with your HD Max. And that's what really makes it look like a full body paint coach to me as much or more than uh, just the color itself is the high gloss finish. Yeah, it's actually layered with a layer of clear coat on the outside. So we do it just the, the, or the, the process just like we do with traditional full body paint. And then what we've done on the front cap here is we've actually put a marine grade gel coat, which is an extra layer of clear coat, which is gonna prevent this from fading uh, this coloring versus the sidewall uh, glass color over time. So these colors are always going to stay consistent with each other. Uh, very similar to what you're seeing in, mar in, the, in the marine industry. And with the HD Max, you're going to get the chrome mirrors yes. come standard once you order the HD Max. Yes. And with the full body paint coaches, they'll be painted to match or They'll be painted, painted mirrors black. that are going to match the, the, the actual paint color. Okay. Now, the V10 engine, uh, being that this is a Class A, you said it's a Class A, Class C evolution. The V10 yes. and this is the 362 horsepower or the 305? This is the 362 uh, horsepower. It's the three-valve Ford engine, uh, which is the Class A F53 chassis engine. Um, on the E350 or E450 chassis, uh, Ford runs with a two-valve engine, which bumps the horsepower up to 362 horsepower and 457 pounds of foot torque. Uh, being a motorhome under 30 foot, getting 362 horsepower, this motorhome will have excellent, <laughs> excellent acceleration. It also is going to get phenomenal uh, fuel economy, being that the weight is, is lighter than your traditional motorhome right. and much shorter. Because this will be the same engine that's going to be used even in the 37, 38 foot triple slide motorhomes yes. on 22 series chassis. So, that is correct. So yeah, it's going to have uh, incredible performance. Yes. Uh, what really makes this motorhome unique starts at the very front of the motorhome uh, with the front cap. You'll see it's a very <clears throat> unique design that's different 
than most Class A motorhomes that you see out in the marketplace. Uh, one being that it's a Class C windshield. It is a one-piece windshield, so your windshield wipers are out of the line of view, which is going to give you a nice panoramic view when traveling through the mountains or traveling around the country. And it's also going to be a nice safety feature because these mirrors will not be in your line of vision. Uh, you'll notice a unique feature on the front there uh, where the front of the uh, top of the windshield actually comes down. That's what we call the brow over the top of the windshield. This is an added benefit when you're traveling out west and that sun's starting to set. Um, this will actually prevent that sun from coming into your eyes when you're driving the coach uh, so you're not fighting that sun uh, when you're heading out west when the sun's going down. And I noticed from looking at the front of the windshield too, uh, just going inside for a moment, but you know, with the shorter windshield, I was thinking about defrosting, you know, because sometimes that's really uh, a, a challenge in a, in a larger Class A motorhome with the taller windshields. And I was thinking that y'all would have uh, fewer defrosters in the coach, but I noticed you have uh, put just as many in this as you, uh, as you have your diesel pusher line. I mean, you, you've got the, uh, even the two additional ones here on the corners. That is correct, yep. And also what you'll notice here with this front windshield, what we do a little different than a lot of the competition, is you're going to notice how this front windshield is dropped down about four to five inches below the front dash. The reason we do this is so when you're sitting behind the driver's seat uh, and you're driving the coach, you're going to get better visibility to the, to the closest part of the front of your motorhome. Where if this front windshield actually stopped up top here, the first five, six feet in front of your motorhome, you're never going to be able to see that. So if you're encroaching onto something, you're going to know when to stop without hitting it. And then, of course, that leads you right into the uh, new side window that y'all have uh, started integrating into several of your floor plans. Yes, the side window here, uh, we call this the trucker window, uh, which is a safety feature, or we call it the doggy window. Several safety features right up here in the front right corner of the motorhome. Uh, one, you're going to have your heated or remote mirrors okay, that you can use when you're looking to the left or the right of you. You're also going to see your side vision cameras are going to be integrated right into the front of the mirror here. Uh, so it's going to be up off of the side, which is going to increase the visibility when you turn your blinker on and that camera kicks on and shows you what's coming up upon you. So when you're switching lanes, you know if you're about to run a car off the road or not. <laughs> and then if you get a small little vehicle like a smart car or something that gets into a blind spot of either the side camera or the heated remote mirror, uh, you can utilize this window here as the driver to glance over to make sure there's not a small vehicle right next to you here. Don't run them off the road. And like you said, it's really popular for pet owners as well because it keeps, sometimes it'll keep the dog or the cat from wanting to be up on the dash or in the seat Absolutely. all the time. So, uh, this, this Ace Motorhome too, talking about a pet friendly window here, this is the first motorhome designed around pets. Uh, the majority of our RVers have little dogs, have little cats that travel with them, maybe even big dogs. So we've taken that into consideration and as we go through the inside of the coach, we'll show you some other pet friendly features that this motorhome has to offer you. Coming around to the side here, um, a few unique features that are right into the entry step that are different than everything else you'll find out there. One, you're going to get a neat little drawer that pulls out, okay? So if you've got a hammer, some, some tools, screwdrivers, some knickknacks, just a sure. neat little place that you can store them right here without having the track inside and out of your motorhome all the time to get something. You'll also see here on this, you got a little uh, step that lifts up here. Uh, this is also a nice little storage area. So if you got tapes and hammers and things like that, uh, just a little bit more storage space. On the side here, you'll see how this opens up here. This is what we call our mudroom, okay? The mudroom is a place to kick your shoes in there. Uh, so if it's wet out and you're coming inside, instead of having to leave your shoes on the outside or track the dirt inside the motor home, you can simply slip your shoes off and kick them in there. Uh, it's also a good place if you have cats where you can put a little uh, litter box right sure. down in there for the cat to go into. So just a couple nice little features um, using all the space available to us right up into the front here. You're also going to notice too how we do not put our batteries underneath of our steps so we're not adjusting the size, the width, or the length of our steps. These steps from the ground all the way up are all going to be the same size um, so that you're not going to fumble and trip over them as you go inside the motorhome. And of course, like all the Thor Motor Coach products, you've got safety handles also at the outside and on the inside. One on the outside, one nice long big one on the inside, so when you come in and out of the motorhome, you can put your hand on there, slide it up and down. Uh, 
These handles are actually integrated and screwed in the steel backers, which we'll talk about later with the cabinetry. Right. Uh, we're in our laminated wall. You're going to have a galvanized steel backer place in here. So when we screw these in, these are anchored into steel, not just into the block foam insulation or into the aluminum structure. Uh, we see pre-owned coaches all the time that come in and it doesn't take three or four years and they go into a wood backer. Um, you know, these will be completely off and I mean, it's, there's really not a lot you can do. I mean, right. you can put bigger screws in, but there's really not a, a proper repair. And, you know, it's, if it's not done right the first time, it makes it impossible to get it done right the second. Absolutely. Uh, one other neat thing here on the outside, because of this uh, full wall slide that we have on this 27-foot motor home, the awning is going to be placed and mounted on the, on the actual slide room. Okay? A couple nice things with this is that when you put this awning out, it actually is going to go down pretty far because it's not over top of the slide top or awning where it's going to have a high pitch where you can never block out the sun. Right. With this adjustable awning too, this carefree awning, you're going to have six different adjustable phases on here. So if the sun's setting out west and where you're positioned in your campsite, if that sun's coming down and you're getting the sun coming into your campsite, you can simply take this button, pull it down and adjust it so that you can adjust the pitch of this awning to block the sun from coming into your campsite. With this awning being on the slide room, we've added a second awning, which is just a manual pull-out awning like you'll find on a diesel motorhome sure. to protect you for when you're going inside out of the coach if it's raining out from uh, going into the entry door. But that will give you a lot of, you know, that's one of the drawbacks of the, of the awnings coming out op up over the slide-out rooms themselves is, you know, the loss of, of, of awning coverage and just the shade itself. So, like I said, having it set up like this, you can really have a large outside patio area Absolutely. set up. Storage compartment doors. Uh, on this side of the coach here, you're going to find side hinge doors. Okay. This first compartment here is going to come to our second pet friendly feature. This is called the D ring. This is a place where if you have little dogs, uh, you can take a leash, tie it up here, drop the leash down through the hole have a place you can tie your pets up to, okay? Without having to tie them to the front step of the motorhome or tie them to the picnic table at the campsite. Right. That is designated for pets. In this compartment as well, you're gonna find your optional hydraulic leveling system, which this coach here is equipped with. It's a four point hydraulic system uh, manufactured by Lipper Components. The added benefit of this four point system is that it's a hydraulic system where they're hydraulic down and they're hydraulic retracted. So if you get camping somewhere, it rains for a while, mud creates around your jacks, the jacks are actually gonna come up out of the ground because they're not spring-loaded, they're hydraulic, right. much more durable. Into this compartment here, it's gonna be a nice little, another little storage area. All the compartments on the, on the Ace product are all gonna be lined in rotocast, okay? They're, you're not gonna find any fabric, cloth, steel inside of our compartments, so if moisture gets in there, the fabric and cloth isn't going to get mildew and moldy, or, uh, moldy over time, and the steel is not going to rust. The actual rotocast is a seamless material, um, so it's not going to leak on you, and it's very, very durable. Uh, if dirt, things like that get in there, you can take some 409 little towel, wet rag, wipe it out and get any debris out. And of course, much lighter weight material as well, so, I mean, uh, just better fuel economy and... Correct. And, and, uh, lot uh, quieter when you're traveling as well. This rear compartment here is going to give you a little bit of pass-through storage. Okay, nice big compartment and you will get some pass-through storage if you have fishing poles, some longer items, and then the rear compartment back here will also have um, <clears throat> some pass-through storage on it. Now I also like the fact that y'all are hinging these doors. A lot of the coaches on the market that are going to have uh, these types of doors uh, don't have a hinge at all. You know, they're just going to swing all the way back you know, and they're just free floating doors. So it's actually really nice that y'all put, uh, you know, heavy duty latches on each one of these side swing baggage doors. So again, class A storage, a lot of storage in a little 27 foot motor home. Coming around to the back of the motor home, uh, you'll see here on this slide room, our slide mechanism that we use on the ACE product. It's called the Schwintec slide system manufactured by Lipper Components. The biggest benefit of this system is you're going to have a track on the bottom and a track on the top of both sides of the slide. So when this electric slide system goes in and out, it's going to go in and out even every single time because you've got tracks on the bottom and the top of both sides of the slide. It is powered by two motors, one motor up top inside the wall where the track is, 
one motor on the other side of the slide. Um, as these slides go in and out, if, you're, if you get in a campground for some reason, you're out and the slide gets stuck out, it's very easy to manually override. Um, there's a control box that's going to be down in one of the compartments. You're simply going to take the two white plugs, pull them out, manually push this slide room in. Once the slide room goes in, you go back over to that control box, plug the, the plugs back in. It'll set a brake on the motors on the top, and then you can drive to a service center for service work. And because these retract um, and extend from all four corners, the, the box always stays true. So you don't have the, the, old, um, the old slide rooms that would pull from the bottom or pull from the top to where you could actually tear up the linoleum floors on the inside, you know, bust a tile, you know, tear the carpeting, you know, those types of things the slide rooms went in and out. Right. And also with these slide rooms, because the rams aren't mounted below, as you were just talking about, it enables us to keep our belt line, which is the separation of the wall and the subfloor, even throughout. So we're not sacrificing any exterior storage compartments by having rams running into the basement of our, of our floor. And something else I really like that y'all do on your slide out rooms is actually having the, the gasket seals, the, the exterior gasket seals uh, inside a track instead of uh, glued on, uh, especially here in Texas. I mean, we'll notice it when it's 110 degrees outside. Uh, we're operating the slides. We'll, we'll get gaskets coming off of a, of a lot of our products, both new and used. Um, and, you know, y'all's uh, y'all system is the, the best I've seen in, in the industry. It's just going to, you know, stand up, you know, during the, the intense summers we have uh, here in the south. Absolutely. Coming around to the rear cap of the Ace Motorhome, this is going to go back to the Class C features. You're going to notice that it's a, it's a Class C rear cap and a Class C steel bumper here. Uh, the steel bumper is a nice feature so that if you have rear end impact here, this bumper will actually protect the fiberglass in the back from being damaged, okay? So it'll soften the blow if somebody were to run into the back of you. Uh, the 16,000 pound chassis is equipped with a 5,000 pound hitch rating, and it's got a four-way round plug for a tow vehicle on the back. Uh, it's also equipped standard with a rear ladder, which is anchored into the galvanized steel backers inside of the wall here. Uh, so you can go up on top of your roof uh, it's a full walk-on roof, 16-inch on center aluminum trusses with a TPO skin material on the top. TPO is thermopolyolefin, which is like a vinyl material. Uh, it's a one-piece material, a maintenance-free material, rip and tear resistant, algae resistant, uh, with a 12-year warranty on it. On the ACE, are the tinted safety glass, is that standard equipment? Yes, that is standard on the ACE. Backup camera. Uh, this one here is equipped with a backup camera. It's a color monitor on the inside. Uh, this camera here can be adjusted, so if you're towing a vehicle, you can change the angle, drop that camera straight down so you can monitor your tow vehicle as you're traveling down the road. Or if you're not towing a vehicle, you can change the pitch back up so you can see oncoming traffic behind you. And it looks like it has the LED uh, feature on it as well, to where at nighttime, it does. Um, you know, so it gives you still the same appearance uh, as, uh, as it would in the day. Yes. Uh, you can even use them for security monitors uh, at night, you know, around, the, uh, around both sides of the, of the coach. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a really nice feature. And the side cameras are the same way. Side cameras are the same way, yes. A unique thing too you'll find right on the back of the, of the ACE product is you're going to find the fuel uh, fill on the rear end of the coach. Typically you find it on the left side of the motorhome. Right. We've strategically placed this on the rear end of the coach so that it'll, it'll act as a dual fuel fill. If one side of the island is, has somebody in line when you're going to get gas, you can pull up to the other side. So really it doesn't matter which side of the island you pull up to, you always have full accessibility to put fuel in the back of the ACE. Coming around to, uh, to the back side, uh, the maintenance side of the motor home, you'll see that the, the ACE is equipped standard with an Onan 4000 generator. Uh, this is a 30 amp service motor home. So I have a 13.5 BTU roof air. 13.5 roof air in the front is standard, or you can upgrade it to the 15,000 BTU AC, which is and, a popular feature down here in Texas. Yes. Um, on all of our coaches here, we put every option on uh, all of our ACEs as far as uh, the, the upgrades allow. Uh, the only variants uh, of our coaches are going to be whether they're full body paint or the HD Max. Yeah, the nice thing with the ACE, too, is there's not a lot of options on the coach available right um, everything is built right into the base price as standard so 
Uh, it's a pretty simple coach when you when you look at specking one out. Right. Back around this side as well, uh, a couple safety features you're going to notice. The water heater and the furnace are going to be on the non-camp side of the motorhome. These were strategically placed on this side so that if your water heater is turned on, your furnace is on and they get hot. Uh, if you have children or pets on the other side running around the campsite, if they happen to bump into it, uh, they're not going to burn themselves by being on this side of the motorhome. The hot water heater is going to be an Atwood uh, hot water heater. The ACE product is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly, uh, which is very unique for a, uh, for a motorhome in this class, being a fully enclosed, not putting the 12 volt electric blankets on there. Uh, when you get down here, this valve is actually adjustable. You can put your sewage hose right down the hole here. Then you have your black tank and your gray tank dump valves. So just to reiterate, the, the black and gray water tanks are actually going to be heated from the furnace. Correct. When you're running your furnace, it'll actually push the, the hot air down into the basement, heating your black and gray tanks. In the compartment right next to it, uh, standard on the ACE product, you're going to get your outside shower. So if you're dumping your sewage hose and you get any stuff on you, you have your outside shower that'll come off. You can wipe yourself, uh, spray yourself off. If you got pets, you can give them a bath. If you're coming back from the beach, if you're camping, you can spray off the lawn chair, spray off yourself, take a shower. <laughs> then you're going to have your LP tank on this side of the motorhome. And then just an extra storage compartment on this side here. Really does have a tremendous amount of storage. It does. Especially for, for a 27 foot motorhome, uh, this will give you a lot more storage than your typical Class C motorhome will give you. The 30.1 Ace uh, is going to give you two slide outs, so it's going to give you a little bit larger uh, living space in the front, an extra slide room for added wardrobe space. Your 29.2 is going to be 29 feet 7 inches with a nice big slide out, still gives you a nice adequate living space, just a kind of a different twist on it. And then we came out with the 27.1 to keep the short or the floor plan short, um, to change it around a little bit, but also be able to offer a king bed without having to sacrifice any wardrobe in the back bedroom area. Uh, what really makes the Ace product unique, even though the coach, the, the floor plans are all under 30 feet, is the 84 inch interior heights. So your normal motor home is gonna have 80 to 82 inch interior height. That's right. But by putting 84 inches in the interior height, really opens up the floor plan, even though it is a short motorhome, totally changes the dynamics of this floor plan here. Show you what really has made the Ace a popular motorhome is going to be your overhead drop-down bed. Most traditional Class A motorhomes do not have extra sleeping in here, but this drop-down bed here will give you sleeping capacity like a Class C motorhome. You'll notice a unique feature on the front here. This is what's called our conversation mirror. Okay, the conversation mirror is almost like a school bus. So if you've got friends, family, pets in the back here, the driver doesn't have to turn their head around uh, and take a look at what's behind them. They can actually just have a conversation with everybody in the motorhome right behind them here. And a lot of additional uh, storage space you know, that you've utilized on both sides. We're just gonna push this little button over here. And with, and with the additional ceiling height, uh, this is one of the few beds on the market that once it comes down, you don't have to actually move these front chairs or tilt them back out of the way of the, of the overhead bed uh, because of its design. So you could actually, you could drive down the road um, if you lost battery power or something and this bed got stuck down, you could drive down the road with this in the down position. Or if you wanted to use this as a storage, like a traditional classy motorhome. You lose the usability of your drivers and passengers chairs with most of the drop down beds as well and you don't in the ACE. Because again, you know, you can still actually, you know, use it with, when the bed is down, you still have, you still have uh, your seating for at nighttime or anything else without having to put the bed back up. So it's really a, a unique feature and, and a unique design in the industry. And you'll see too, you pick up a lot of extra interior storage in the back there. Uh, again, if you have valuables with you, you can put them back there uh, and then put the bed in the upright position. The bed is powered by a key, a safety key here that will actually come out. So if you want to put the bed up, put valuables back up there. If you leave uh, the campsite for the day, you can take this with you. Nobody will ever know any valuables are up there. This is also a nice safety feature, so if you've got kids that are sleeping up here, that one of the siblings doesn't try to play a joke on the other one <laughs> and put the other one up into the ceiling. So 
uh, you could take this key out so that this bed will stay in the down position. So when you're not using the bed, you can just push the button and uh, the bed will go right back up. But this really is what has changed and made the Ace product such a popular motorhome uh, is the additional sleeping that you get. So really in this 27 foot floor plan, you could sleep two up top, two here in this sofa that folds down, and then two very comfortably in the king bed in the rear of the coach. So 27 foot motorhome sleeping six people with all the storage uh, has made this coach extremely popular. From a cooling standpoint, you know, again, a 15,000 BTU AC is a very rare option to have on a Class C. So at 27 feet with a 15,000 BTU AC, that's centrally ducted as well. It's not a drop down uh, that you would find in a lot of entry level units. You know, it's actually a, a, a centrally ducted air conditioning system. The heating and cooling system does a great job. And you'll even go the extra mile in the, uh, in the furnace duct work as well. You know, not having, you know, grates throughout the floor. Yep. Gives it a lot better look. And of course, you don't have to worry about the dirt and debris and stuff getting kicked into your heating ducts. We'll come back over to the front cap here. One nice feature on the Ace front dash here is going to be the flip over computer tray. The computer tray flips over. Uh, most folks that are traveling have laptops these days. So it's a great place to set your laptop. You're gonna get two one, or a 110 plug here and also have a 12 volt plug. So if you wanna charge a cell phone, you have both of those. We cut the tray down below. So if you have documents, folders, papers you wanna take with you when you're out traveling, right. you can store those down here. When you're not using your laptop, uh, you can unplug it, store it right down here, flip this over and you don't even know it's there. And you can't have enough 12 volt outlets anymore. <laughs> we have two over here as well. So if you do have a GPS Garmin system or you know a GPS system that you're taking with you, right. you can plug one of them in here and then you still have an extra 12 volt on the, right down here if you want to charge a cell phone. And your backup camera. This is the Jensen backup all-in-one radio system. It's gonna be a color monitor. It's a touch screen uh, radio here. And also it is equipped satellite ready, the Sirius ready. So all you have to do is run the wires and the antenna and you can run a satellite radio signal, Sirius uh, signal right into the camera here. It's a nice system. And again, the, the side view cameras are blinker activated. So all you gotta do is flip the blinker on and you'll see down the, see right that down side down of the motorhome, motor correct? Mm -hmm. Also equipped here in the, in the, in the middle of the, of the cockpit area, uh, you're gonna have two nice big cup holders here and you're also going to have a little skid pad here so that if you have um, you know a cell phone or something you want to set down there when you hit your brakes it's not going to go flying off of it because of the skid <laughs> pad here. And just a tremendous amount of seating right here too. I mean this is a large L-shaped booth dinette and uh, the table is this removable? The table is removable which will actually drop down uh, and, and make a little sleeping area. So we'll make a, a, a another sleeping area, but then you can remove the table altogether if you just want to just, just have a wide open floor plan at certain times. You just want to use uh, like a sofa. And the TV placement's great in this floor plan as well. You know, great for families or anybody, you know, who's traveling. I mean, obviously you're going to have great visibility here from the booth, also the driver's chair, but you know, also you're going to be able to keep the kids buckled in when you're going down the road and they can still watch TV. Uh, unlike a lot of floor plans, that are, you're, you're going to lose visibility of the television when the slide out room comes in. So it's been really popular with families from that standpoint as well. Again, I mean, it's just surprising how much you are able to do with, with such a small space in this coach. You know, I have so many floor plans, that, I mean, literally have a no counter space. They might have a little flip up deal, but I mean, it's all sink and stove. Um, so, you know, I was really surprised to see uh, the amount of counter space and drawer space that you that you were able to uh, pull off here in the, in the kitchen. Drawer space too. Um, in the drawers here, you'll notice that they're all gonna be full extension drawer guides, all metal ball bearing drawer guides. So we don't sacrifice any quality in the Ace product. You're gonna get maximum storage space throughout here. You can also pick up some storage space. This is a really nice thing too. So many motor homes have no place to put your trash can. Well, we actually give you two trash cans, one for regular trash, but also one for recycling. You can stick them right down here and store them down there. Yeah, you're right about, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of coaches that, that you would think you would have the space. It's a big door, but then you right. open it up, the sinks drop down, the, the plumbing is, is in the way, and you literally can't get a, uh, a trash can of any size underneath the sinks, and you end up having to put them out here in the middle of the floor. And up top here, too, you're going to have nice big handles. 
all adjustable shelves for your cups and bowls and plates. Uh, this is the vintage maple This color. is the vintage maple color, yes. Uh, the Ace is offered in two different cabinet colors, the vintage maple, and if, uh, if you like a darker color, you can go with the Olympic cherry, which has a little bit more of a darker red tone to it, more of a, of a cherry color to it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, with the grab handle screwed into the uh, steel backer, one thing we do with all of our products at Thor Motor Coach, when we anchor all of our cabinets, we actually screw these into galvanized steel backers that are strategically placed in our laminated wall. So as you put weight and stuff in these cabinets over time, the cabinets aren't going to start sagging you after a couple years. They're, gonna, they're always going to keep their height and their durability. Then moving on down, one thing you'll notice too with the flooring system in the Ace, uh, you're going to have linoleum throughout from front all the way to the back wall. So we've removed all of the carpet in the Ace product, all floor plans, except up in the little cab area. So there's no more worrying about tracking dirt and stuff on your carpet. If you want to put a couple throw rugs down here as they get dirty, just take them out, shake them out. Um, we're not having to worry about keeping carpet clean at RV parks anymore. And of course your resale value is going to be far better. I mean, down the road you're not, you know, having to either put new carpet in the coach, which is a major expense, um, you know, and, you know, it's still going to look like it does now, mm -hmm. you know, three, four years down the road. So the resale is going to have to be much better on these coaches, you Absolutely. know, in years to come than they have done in previous years. Absolutely. This coach here too, let me point this out, has got a nice big solid wood pantry to put canned goods, boxes of cereals, um, things like that. So uh, it's not a little wire basket. It's a nice, durable, solid, all wood, all real wood pantry. And then on this side over here, this is where we have our broom and our coat closet. This is a very unique feature on all three ACE floor plans. Most of the time, if you have a broom, you have to keep it outside. Or where do you usually store your coats? Back in the wardrobe area, where this has a designated spot for all of them. Nice big pocket door uh, as well on uh, on this particular floor plan. It's not an accordion style. It's the actual wood pocket door. And has a king size bed. And, and it you're has not... a king size bed in a 27 foot motorhome. Yeah, you're not going to find that in any class C. No, which has <laughs> really, really made this a popular selling motorhome. We're actually using a nice residential Denver mattress, which is like a hospitality mattress. Very, very comfortable. You know, you get storage underneath here to put extra blankets and pillows and linens. That's two really good sized spaces under there. Then the other, the other half there is the exterior storage that went out through the sidewall. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Nice headboards, and you've got windows on both sides of the bed, um, as well as uh, you know, good sized nightstands. One ten outlets next to the nightstands. And I like the vanity arrangement right here. Just a good use of space, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just another cabinet, but you know, nice, you can sit here on the edge of the bed, got a 110 outlet, you know, you can hook up another place for a blow dryer, you know, instead of just everybody trying to use the bathroom at the same time. It's nice to have a, another place like that in the coach. Yeah, if you're in the market for a small, fuel efficient motor home, you definitely have to come out and see a 27.1 Ace because it's amazing how short this coach is yet how much space and storage you have in this little motorhome. Each floor plan is as unique as the other one, and there's nothing else like them in the industry, and you know, obviously it's taking it by storm. Class A, Class C evolution, the best of both <laughs> worlds. You know, one other thing you get to when you purchase a Thor motor coach is uh, our shield of protection. This is Thor motor coach's commitment to our retail customers. This starts off, there's four parts, four aspects to the shield of protection. One is going to be the Gold Star inspection. Before every motorhome leaves our factory, it's going to be uh, go through our Gold Star delivery inspection, where they're going to go through and do a final audit, review all the systems, check the ACs, check the furnace, fill the tanks to make sure there's no leaks. Every single Thor Motor Coach motorhome before it leaves the plant will go through our rain booth test. 15 minutes with the slides in, 15 minutes with the slides out. High pressure nozzle simulates a hurricane force, I mean, a, a major, major storm to assure that the coaches aren't leaking at any point before they, they ship from the factory. Then it goes into what's called our concierge connection. After you take delivery of any Thor Motor Coach product, 
you'll be uh, contacted by our concierge connection. They're first going to welcome you to the Thor Motor Coach family. They're going to cover all your warranties with you. Basically, just reach out to you to make sure you had a good buying experience and are satisfied with your Thor Motor Coach product. At that time, they're going to give you an 800 number, uh, which will connect you at any time, 24-7, 365 days a year, holidays included, to our 24-7 tech support line. Okay, What this does for you is that if you're out and you're in a down position, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, it's Christmas morning, you can reach out and call and talk to one of our head service technicians uh, that's from Indiana that actually is a certified technician that knows Thor Motor Coach products inside and out. They're first going to try to walk you through the problem. Maybe it's a blown fuse. Maybe it's uh, user error, simple, sim some, something simple to try to get you fixed and back up on the road again. If for some reason they can't help you get you fixed and back on the road again, they're going to guide you to help you try to get to a local service center. Uh, this is an invaluable uh, uh, a feature that we offer for our retail customers. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a major commitment from a manufacturing standpoint at so many different levels. The fourth aspect of the shield of protection is the rapid response. This is a parts program. If for some reason you're traveling and your AC goes out or something that's a major component which will prevent you from, from camping or RVing, right. it's our commitment that we will overnight express mail any part or component to a dealer, local uh, dealership that you're at to make sure that they can get you fixed and back on the road again. Well, folks, I'd like to thank you all for joining us at the World's RV Show, um, as well as the more than 13,000 other people from 57 different countries that have uh, chose to join us here at theworldsrvshow.com. And uh, we're all looking forward to doing some more walk-arounds here later on this afternoon. And I just want to thank you again, Joel, for making the trip. Thanks I know it's a pain us. being away from your family and everything. It's greatly appreciated by our family, you being here and taking the time. Thanks for having me. We'll be back uh, later on this afternoon with the Thor Motor Coach Tuscany and Adam Gudger. <laughs>